Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween 2022. Today we are doing a book review, first review of the month. If you don't know, every Saturday and Sunday I am live streaming this month uh, on Saturdays. You will have a writing stream followed uh, at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, followed by a Halloween-themed game night, trivia, whatever I choose to do, um, at 6.30 Central Standard Time uh, p.m. Saturday night. And then on Sundays, we'll be watching movies together. We've already done it once so far um, yesterday. Uh, and we will continue to do that. If you want to vote on what movies we watch free on Tubi this month, we will be streaming every single Sunday. Um, I won't be streaming the film, but I will be watching the movie with you guys. Uh, that's why I chose Tubi, because you don't even need an account to watch uh, movies over there. Um, completely free, 100% free. You do have to sit through ads, but oh well, what you going to do? But today, we are talking about The Devil Takes You Home by Gabino Iglesias. Uh, this book was highly anticipated by myself. I've read Zero Saints. I have yet to read Coyote Songs, but I absolutely loved Zero Saints, and it, this is just more of that goodness. Uh, we are following a man called Mario um, as he uh, navigates a very uh, heavily supernatural uh, story. Um, there's, I say heavy, but most of the supernatural stuff is, is actually very subtle. Um, but don't go into this expecting a, uh, your average everyday thriller. This is definitely a cult. This is definitely supernatural. So keep that in mind when you're reading. Uh, the book starts off with <clears throat> Mario, uh, Mario's daughter, uh, has a very, uh, aggressive form of cancer. And him and his wife are struggling financially, emotionally, physically, all that stuff. They are struggling. They are not having a good time. Um, and the first section of this book is absolutely heartrending. Um, the majority of this book is heartrending. What this man goes through, trying to make ends meet, trying to be a good father, um, and things just keep going wrong. Um, I, I don't want to spoil a certain aspect. But things pop off uh, rather rather quickly, and we find out the fate of his daughter daughter very very soon into the book, and then it is a road trip uh, into hell basically. Um, he Mario is tasked with uh, with killing certain individuals. He's a hitman. He's working with uh, uh, one <laughs> one individual especially that really creeped me out, and then another individual that. <clears throat> served served his purpose um but the horror here is exceptional uh i will <laughs> i will commend iglesias on that uh tldw too long didn't watch um i absolutely love this book i'm giving it five stars it is everything i look for in a supernatural thriller a supernatural crime novel which there aren't very many of um so i really appreciated that uh, in the inside flap of the book uh, it is said, The Devil Takes You Home is a panoramic odyssey for fans of S.A. Cosby's Southern Noir Blacktop Wasteland by the way of the boundary-defying storytelling of Stephen Graham Jones and Sylvia Marino Garcia. And I would agree with that completely. Uh, it felt very much like uh, S.A. Cosby's books, um, but with a supernatural twist. And that's not to say that, you know, Gabino doesn't have his own style, his own voice. He most certainly does. The voice that I fell in love with in Zero Saints is here. Uh, the action and the climax and everything, I, I really can't say anything bad about this book. Uh, you will see reviews uh, complaining about the politics. Uh, they, they're all over. I don't. I don't have to link you at all. They're all over. Um, they're they're all over. What Goodreads and even Amazon. People upset because he mentions social commentary because he mentions things that actually happen. Um, there's a there's definitely a believability here, uh, especially living if you live in the southern United States. Um, and I, th I believe the vast majority of this book takes place in Texas and Mexico. I, I believe I could be wrong. Um, highly recommend the audiobook, which is, uh, I got it on Audible. I use my credit for it. I, I don't think I could find it on Scribd. Um, but if you're interested in a free month of Scribd, 
click the link well yeah click the link down there in the doobly doo you get a free month my kids get a free month um it helps everybody out but yeah uh, this one's on audible i uh, highly recommend even though i have the hardcover i used it uh, for my daily walks well actually my just my daily exercise period um and the the audiobook is great the the book itself is good i jump back and forth um but truly come for the writing. Gabino has a flair for the dark, for the twisted, but especially describing subtle horror that escalates into big horror. Um, he doesn't over explain, which I truly appreciate. Um, nowadays, it's, horror seems to be either super vague to the point where uh, everything is left wide open and there there's no conclusion whatsoever. Um, and then you have uh, other ones that you know explain away the horror far too much uh, Gabino Iglesias definitely goes a Stephen King route he tells you just enough information and lets you uh, decide for yourself uh, the maybe the origins of certain things uh, the Bruja in this one who boy uh, yeah the way they kept her um, and what they did to her and then what she was capable of all that stuff just blew me away. Um, I honestly have nothing bad to say about this book. Uh, so yeah, if you're looking for something dark, sinister, with a little bit of a crime thriller edge to it, definitely check this one out. Um, but that is all I have to say about this one. I wish this re review was longer, uh, but I, it's so much easier to review a book negatively, for me anyways, because I have something to talk about. In this one, I am just gushing about everything that I loved. Um, I, w I would say I always give a word of warning. If you're on the conservative side of things and you would get upset, about, or e e even the liberal side of things, if you get upset about politics in the book, you're probably going to want to skip this one because there are a lot of uh, mentions of those types of things um, but I'm of the mindset that all art is political so I I don't know how you navigate uh, fiction whatsoever um, if you have a problem with politics um, but mostly it, it, we all know it's usually the politics we disagree with that uh, that we have a problem with um, and in here, I didn't have any issue with it whatsoever because I've seen these types of uh, conversations. I've seen these types of things firsthand, uh, and I know they exist. And if you don't think they exist, maybe go out, and, you know, talk, then go out into the public uh, a, <laughs> a lot more. Anyways, but until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.